Item number 47 on the calendar is House Bill 5105. It's a bill to amend the Health Insurance Claim Assessment Act. The rules have been suspended to allow for immediate consideration of the bill. There are no amendments pending to final passage of House Bill 5105. Question, Senator Kolbeck, to final passage. Thank you, Madam President. I rise in opposition to House Bill 5105. I understand we've got a shortfall on the funding for Medicaid. It's just like everything else that we're addressing in this body, there's two ways of approaching a solution to a problem, especially when it comes to the budget. One is you look at the revenue side of the fence. The other is you look at the expense side of the fence. And uh, I, I'm a little concerned that we have not yet looked at the uh, expense side of the fence on this. In particular, when it, you know, we've been focusing on the on, we've expanded Medicaid. Excuse me. Members, if I could have some decorum. It Senator, was, Senator Kolbeck. Thank you very much. It wasn't too long ago that we expanded the coverage of Medicaid here in the state of Michigan. We know that in the year uh, 2017, the federal uh, contribution for Medicaid expansion dropped below 100%. And uh, when we get to 2020, the savings that were projected as a basis for passing Medicaid expansion are going to be to the point where the automatic repeal provision of Medicaid expansion bill gets put into effect. And now, instead of looking at ways to actually reduce the expenses to, to, to our taxpayers and make sure that there are ways to provide better quality services to our constituents, we're looking at going off and increasing taxes. And I, I'm just concerned that this is a repeated pattern where we do not look at ways of delivering the services that we, we would like to provide to our constituents in more efficient ways. Um, instead, we just go back in and start taxing. And it's, for me, it's just personally disappointing. And uh, I, I would uh, like to uh, use that as my no vote explanation, but I'd also like to use it as an encouragement to the colleagues in this, in this body that to look at what's best for our citizens down the road and what's best to protect their pocketbooks and actually what's best to actually provide even better quality of care to our citizens that depend on Medicaid. Um, so um, with that, I'd like to urge my no, uh, colleagues to vote no on this legislation. Thank you, Senator Kolbeck. Senator Kolbeck wishes his statements be printed in the journal and used as his no vote explanation.